Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. How are you doing? Welcome to my new studio. I've just moved house and I'm due to have a baby in, well, my wife is due to have a baby in just a couple of weeks time. So to be really honest with you, I made myself some delicious, uh, delicious toast food. And <clears throat> I sat down here playing my new guitar from Pauletti. And I thought it's since I've literally got the afternoon off and it's probably the last time I'll have an afternoon off in ages with a little girl coming. That I, I just shoot a review of this guitar and give you the ins and outs um, of how incredible it is and how great Paoletti are. And um, yeah, it's just, this is my time. I can play, I can jam, I can eat toast and, uh, and I can relax a little bit and play some guitar. Which is uh, not an easy thing when you've got kids, as many of you will already already know. Paletti contacted me and said, Rob, we love your videos, we'd love to make you a guitar, um, and it could celebrate you know, the album that you just released with Clockwork Wolf and Company in the sunshine. And I was like, wow, uh, yes, <laughs> make me a guitar, <laughs> that's really cool. And um, they, they specialize in uh, F-type bolt-on guitars, although they have a lot of really unique um, different things that they do. They're unique and they're different and they are really high quality. By the way, if you hear random noises around me, it's because right now, I don't know what it is, but it's really windy in Brighton. It is like blazing hot sunshine and then randomly windy so that you don't feel the heat, so you get burnt really easily. <laughs> um, so anyway, they contacted me and said, uh, would I like a guitar? And I said, yeah, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and I have this thing. <clears throat> I really, I really believe in letting creative people, um, leaving them alone to work on a project. So what I didn't want to do is give them too many instructions and say, yeah, needs to be this radius on the fingerboard and I want the nut this width and could the volute have a particular angle? And I didn't do that. I said, here is the album artwork that I really like. I love T-type guitars and um, go ahead and thank you. And that was the right thing to do. Um, Mr. Paoletti is a genius luthier. The company is incredible and the results, are, man, I'm just so happy, honestly. I mean, I couldn't really be happier with the guitar. Um, I think it's stunning. And what I didn't realize at the time was that they could do this incredible laser printing on the guitar. They can literally, um, this was all kind of laser burnt into the finish. And it just, it looks so cool. Paletti guitars come from Italy, in particular Tuscany, and Mr. Paletti's family have been making Chianti red wine for hundreds of years. And so this is not mahogany or ash or alder. This is chestnut wood from the family's 150 year old barrels um, that is beautifully seasoned and aged and dry because Tuscany is a really dry, hot part of Italy. How cool is that? It's kind of really unique that his family history and heritage creates a timber that he can use to make his guitars from. So pretty much all of them have these beautiful chestnut, 150 year old aged bodies. <laughs>
this is not ebony, it's not rosewood. This is actually teak. It's the first time I've ever played a guitar with a teak fingerboard. I have to say, it's a little bit like a hybrid between ebony and rosewood, which by my book is really cool. As you can probably expect, in 2019, this neck is made from roasted maple, baked maple or torrified maple, whichever you'd like to call it. Uh, it's got um, just, you know, cloose and tuners, the ones with the hole that you put your string down, which are really practical. And um, brass nuts, really cool little touches at the volume and the tone pot, a shotgun cartridge shells, I think. They look like they are three-way. Uh, I tell you what, if you ever want to judge the ability of a luthier, something I've noticed is that if you run your fingers over the nut, you... I just felt Peter Honore giggle. Um, you really get an understanding of, of the attention to detail that somebody put into a guitar. The nut is perfectly cut, beautifully shaped. It's really enabling the guitar to stay in tune. And then these little tiny details like the wolf on the end of the headstock, that's a custom touch. This whole thing is really a custom guitar. Um, it's based on what they call their Nancy Loft series. It's, it's an odd name. <laughs> I guess Loft maybe because it was left in the loft and weathered for years or something. But um, go and check out on Paoletti's website, which you'll find ding, um, the Nancy Loft series. <laughs> roughly 2,400 English sterling, I suppose, to get one of these, uh, or, or this type of guitar made by Paoletti. Um, <clears throat> what else is there to tell you? Well, I took this guitar with me. Um, I, I unfortunately, it arrived halfway through um, my recording of a, of a recent album that I've yet to release, um, which I'll tell you a little bit about. So I'm, <laughs> I have instrumental guitar in me. I made a video about this recently, a little bit. Um, and, I, and I wasn't really sure what to do with it because I've got the Clockwork Wolf thing, I've got the Dorje thing, which is resurfacing next year with a new album, uh, and actually some acoustic tracks and, and something else happening a bit sooner. And But I write instrumental stuff too. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. So I decided to uh, launch an album of instrumental work under the, under the name Monkey Lord, and it's soundscape, landscape stuff, cleans, dirties, ambient sounds. It's beautiful and been a really amazing experience. This arrived halfway through that recording and it was great for the really, really clean tones that I am not customarily known for, <laughs> not really armed for. But these pickups really helped me to deliver that. They're Aunica 5s, they are double wax dipped, uh, roped wire, mega high end, and again, they're Paoletti zone pickups. Uh, and then all these bits of brass are proprietary to Paoletti as well. They're all, they're all their own thing. I love the colors, I love the guitar. I'm incredibly grateful to Paoletti for making this guitar. In fact, Mr. Paoletti himself made this for me, so I am honored. <laughs> have a very short rant about uh, delivery companies. I know that the majority of delivery companies try really hard and um, and I'm sure it's isolated incidents, but <laughs> it arrived with a big ding in the middle of the, of the box 
and actually the case has marks on it where, um, where it had been hit. And as a result, the neck, I think the truss had moved slightly and the neck had a little bit bent because they're definitely set up in the workshop. Uh, nobody goes to this much, you know, bother to make a guitar and doesn't set it up. And the neck had bent. And it's an old fashioned design where there isn't an adjustment at the top of the headstock. You have to take the neck off. And I, I'm not really used to doing that. I mean, I, I've done it once or twice. So I took it off, gave it a quick turn, and it was right as rain. Spot on, straight away, perfect. So that was the only thing that was a bother. I, I would rather that they had an adjustment top of the neck or maybe the wheel down here, which is my new favorite way of doing it. But it's, I mean, it's just a great guitar. So thank you to Paoletti. And um, yeah, well, I really hope that you've enjoyed looking at this new guitar. All the tones you've heard are through just a standard RD1. Um, they come in black as well. It's called the BD1. And a regular Victory Cab. And on the floor, all I've got is my Averse, my Immerse Reverberator uh, from New Neighbor Effects. That's it. All of the gain you heard was just the amp and just the guitar. Um, it, if you crank a jet, It's, uh, it's so pleasing to play because um, it's so easy to play. And the really great thing, I mean, look, <clears throat> I'm not gonna hark on about tone woods, although it makes a massive difference. It's a feedback system and a physics system. And what the job of the wood is to resonate and allow the strings to, to keep moving to increase the sustain of the strings. And this guitar gives back. When you play a note, the note continues for a while. It's, it's giving back to the string. I've played a few guitars recently where you, you play a note and it kind of goes, <laughs> it just dies. It's the most frustrating thing ever. And uh, so I'm, I'm really glad that this guitar is so alive and it has so much um, harmonic depth in the sound. It's great for recording. Go check them out, Paoletti. Great guitars, made in Italy by hand, and uh, I've been Rob Chapman. Please subscribe, and if you'd like to press my bell, then you'll be told when I have videos online for you to sit down, have a coffee, and, and enjoy. Take it easy. Chappers out. <laughs>